Hey guys, it's Ayan. The latest update for Guild Wars 2 is called Queen's Jubilee, and there's a whole new bunch of achievements too. After you do the whole opening ceremony thing, you will appear here in a crown pavilion. There are 6 NPCs who represent different emissaries. The whole bright one gives you the champion of the wild achievement. Black Citadel gives you champion of the legion, Ebonhawk champion of the crown, Lion's Arch champion of the council, the Grove champion of the pale tree, Ratasam champion of the colleges. All you have to do is talk to them and represent them while killing 100 mobs in the crown pavilion. And yes, you have to do it for each of them to get each achievement. Now and then, events pop up in the crown pavilion to kill champion mobs. Completing 15 of these events will give you the pavilion participant achievement. For the balloon tower tourist achievement, just look at the map when you're out of the capital cities and you'll see these little hot air balloon icons. Go to that balloon. If the gate is open, just go right up and open the chest. If the gate is closed, talk to the balloon pilot down here. He'll tell you to escort the overdue emissary to the hot air balloon. I forgot to mention in the previous video that if you didn't get to kill enough Aetherblade pirates in the opening ceremony of Crown Pavilion, you can come out here and kill these mobs too. They do count towards the pavilion partygoer achievement. Anyway, once the emissary gets to the hot air balloon, the door opens and you can go up and open the chest. While you're out here, if you see these champions near the balloon towers, kill them. You need to defeat 6 types of queen champions to get the winner and champion achievement. Lastly, the luminary of Krita achievement. There are 4 spots in Divinity's reach where you can do this. Just talk to the torchbearer and he'll give you a torch. All you gotta do is light up all the unlit beacons that you see on the map. They're really easy to spot. Oh and there's a timer too. Remember to talk to the speed boost NPC before talking to the torchbearer. Good luck guys!